Welcome. In this video we tell you about denial of service attack. Hey my name is Tahir and I am a employee. Hey my name is Vijayhat and I am the boss. Sir our website devices and networks is not working properly it was crashing again and again and it was over flooded. Our users will not be able to use our website. Some unidentified users will send in some unauthorized things again and again. Oh Tahir I think we will be in the big problem I think we are under attack let me see Tahir. So Vijayhat see our devices shutting down again and again our network was also not working properly. Tahir we will under a denial of service attack. So Vijayhat did you know something about this attack or I will tell you sir. Tahir I know that a denial of service DOS attack is an attack designed to shut down a device or network rendering it unavailable to its intended users. This is accomplished by DOS attacks by overwhelming the target with traffic or giving it information that causes a crash. In all cases, the DOS attack deprives legal users of the facility or resource they were anticipating, i.e. staff, representatives, or account holders. DOS attack victims also threaten high-profile associations web servers such as financial, trade, and media firms or government and trade companies. While DOS attacks normally do not result in fraud or destruction of valuable data or other assets, they will cost the victim a great deal of time and resources to deal with them. Yes sir you are right. This attack has two general methods flooding services or crashing services. If the device encounters too much traffic for the processor to buffer, flood attacks occur, forcing them to slow down and end gradually. Common attacks against floods include buffer overflow attacks. In this buffer is filled by this form of attack with more data than it can hold. This allows the buffer to leak and corrupt the information in its hands. Sending emails with file names that have 256 characters is an example of a buffer overload. ICMP flood, a type of DOS attack that sends spoofed data packets that reach any machine in a targeted network, taking advantage of misconfigured network devices, is also referred to as a ping flood. SYN flood, sends a request, but never completes the interaction, to connect to a server. It proceeds until all open ports are filled with requests and no requests are able to connect to legal users. Crash attacks occur less frequently, as vulnerabilities that exploit weaknesses in the targeted device are spread by cyber criminals. Outcome, crashes the machine. Crash attacks and flood attacks block legal users from accessing online resources such as blogs, game pages, emails, and bank accounts. So here we have to download security softwares which can help us to minimize the risks of such attacks. So Vijayhat we have to block all traffic coming from an attacker by defining his IP. We can use firewalls to avoid DOS attacks and via the access control list, routers may be programmed to restrict network access and drop alleged unauthorized traffic. So here we have to download or create anti-DDoS programs. This will help us to distinguish between legal network traffic spikes and a DDoS attack. So here, contact our internet service provider fast and say him to transfer the traffic. So I have talked to internet service provider and they will help us. It is a smart thing that we have a backup of ISP. Consider utilities too that can spread the vast DOS traffic between a server network. That can help make an attack unsuccessful. Investigate the routing of black holes black hole routing may be used by internet service providers. It directs unnecessary traffic often referred to as a black hole through a null path. This will help avoid a collapse on the intended website or network. The downside is that all lawful and unlawful traffic is diverted in the same manner. Configure routers and firewalls to reject fake traffic. Firewalls and routers should be configured. Mind to keep the new security updates updated on our routers and firewalls. Consider hardware for front end until traffic enters a node. Device front end hardware that is built into the network can help to evaluate and screen data packets. When they enter a device, the hardware classifies the data as priority, normal, or hazardous. It will help to block threatening details as well. So Vijayat, I know some tools which they use for doing this type of attacks. Oh, nice, Tahir. Tell me something about this softwares or tools. Show, sure, sir, Vijayat. Name is so this method is used to create random packets land and later this method can be used to spoof IP and open TCP connection span so this tool can be used to overflow UDP packets into a victim's network botnets are a collection of hacked internet machines that can be used to carry out a distributed denial of service operation and so on well tahir i hope you have learned something from this attack
Yes, so Vijayahat, I have learned it many thing from this attack. Thanks for watching our video.